Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Oh, no, you don't, you son of a bitch. Not this time. Honey, who was that? Where are the kids? Why did you yell? Who's at the door? Are the kids home? Yes, they're upstairs. Baby, you're scaring me. We can't stay here. What's happening? It's nothing. It's just... Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, another distraction from the futility of life. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson. And not a single doctor can tell me why I make that sound. Are you sure we're not playing poker? Because I see a pair of jokers. <laughs> yeah, we had some fun here. And the adventure begins. Start the game. Time for question one. Let's start with... It's 2018 and I'm still writing tired jokes on my checks. I love sending money with Venmo because the descriptions my friends put in their transactions are always, always so funny. If the United States purchase of the Virgin Islands was recorded in Venmo, what hilarious description would you see? The U.S. paid Spain for hot sex, the U.S. paid France for erotic dance, the U.S. paid England for porn shoot, or the U.S. paid Denmark for butt stuff. I love this part. Anybody got change for a wrong answer? <laughs> oh, honestly. In 1917, the U.S. bought the Virgin Islands from the Danes for a cool 25 million. <laughs> but really, it should have been 25 million and four dollars, because the U.S. said it didn't want any of the fries Denmark ordered, but then when they came, they went to town on them. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Up next, love the shell you're in. Obviously, you shouldn't fat shame anybody, but on top of that, why shouldn't you fat shame Mr. Peanut? Because his thighs contain saturated fat, because his neck contains omega-3 fatty acids, because his butt contains unsaturated fat, or because his belly contains trans fat. Let's see how that shook out. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> well, it's come to this. Peanuts are composed mostly of unsaturated fat, aka the good kind. Making it possible for Mr. Peanut to slay all day. Why don't we do it with three? Coming up next. Oh, holy grain. And it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an Egyptian deity or a type of whole grain. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Egyptian deity or whole grain. And you're both doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Pharaoh. Osiris. Amaranth. Tefnut Freaka That was nice and forgettable, but player two, of all the losers, you are the loseriest. Binge Pipe would like to improve your player experience. Oh, that means it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for your opponent to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus if they choose incorrectly. <coughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> Happy to engage with you. I don't need you anymore. Next, Shakespearean three ways. Based on the events in their respective plays, which would be an accurate round of, oh, let's call it Bang, Mary, Kill for these Shakespeare characters? Bang, Hamlet, Mary Ophelia, Kill Tybalt. Bang, Romeo, Mary, Juliet, Kill Polonius.
Bang Juliet, Mary Romeo, Kill Prospero, or Bang Guildenstern, Mary Bottom, Kill Romeo. Okay, let's take a look. Will the correct answer please rise? Juliet bangs Romeo, Romeo marries Juliet, Polonius gets stabbed through the curtain by Hamlet. Of course, it all goes very differently in my fan fiction, Polonius, Private Eye. Polonius loves danger, and the ladies love Polonius. Come on, publishers, take a chance. Oh, here's a good one. The internet is sick. Which of these online sensations would not be a viral video? Keyboard cat gets rabies, Charlie bit my finger and gave me tuberculosis, grape lady falls and gets mumps, or sneezing panda might have hepatitis. Uh-oh. You just got screwed, player one. Remember, good things come in small packages. Let's see who got it. Huh? This would've worked. Tuberculosis is a bacterial infection. The other diseases are viral. So wash your hands, unless you wanna go full-blown YouTube star. Yeah, that screw is a good move player too. Here's that cash. Round one is dead to me. Let's look at the scores I'll be sending to your parents. Currently, player one is in the lead. Player two, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. Looks like someone needs a little more help. And keep in mind, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. Player one, your only hope is to answer quick before player two has time to screw. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? Just wonderful, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Here's one for you. If I only had a prenup. Say the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz settles down with a Tin Woman and one day she gives birth to a pewter baby. Uh-oh, who is the father? The Brass Pool Boy? The Aluminum Milkman? The Wrought Iron Personal Trainer? Or the Tin Man's best friend, the Lead Man? Okay, who chose what? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. <laughs> Foiled again. Should've picked this. Pewter is a metal alloy, traditionally consisting of tin and lead. So yeah, it was probably the lead man. How could the tin woman break the tin man's heart like that? He just got it like a week ago. Hey, question. At Binge Pipe, we value your needs. Would you like a question with air horns or a question about air horns? Choose on your devices now. Your choices cancel each other out. Binge Pipe will select the slightly better option. Mes collègues sont des crétins. Set. This one's called a question with air horns. If I get one of these babies in my hands, I just can't myself. How many compartments does a cow's stomach have? Or... And how do we do? A cow has four distinct compartments in their stomach, or sometimes just referenced as four stomachs. Four stomachs. That'll make a lot of... Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here we have... I always cry during Pixar questions. 
If the boy from Coco traded his guitar for a Japanese instrument with 13 strings, what would you call the movie? Coco with a Koto, Coco with a Dogo, Coco with a Mobo, or Coco with an Oboe? So who got it? You killed it. Your chances, I mean. <laughs> you will call the right answer by its name. A koto has 13 strings and a rectangular shape. And it may have the ability to connect you with your dead ancestors. I don't really know. I gave up after two lessons. Introducing Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. It's monster. Called Stupid by Aristotle. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Hope you like what you picked. In Aristotle's History of Animals, he called the octopus a stupid creature. A little bad blood there when he was a boy and octopus used to call him stupid Aristotle. Feast your eyes upon this. Hola, mi nombre es Cookie Masterson. ¿Qué está celebrando el 5 de mayo? El comienzo de la guerra de la independencia mexicana, la derrota de los franceses en la batalla de Puebla, el final de la revolución mexicana, o el... Okay, what'd you pick? No es bueno. <laughs> Remember this moment. El 5 de mayo conmemora la derrota del imperio francés por el ejército mexicano en la batalla de Puebla. Para todos los hispanohablantes, gracias por jugar nuestro juego. Esos tontos hablantes de inglés no pueden entender una palabra de lo que estoy diciendo. ¡Qué montón de idiotas! <risa> Time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Follow the rules. You can't follow the rules unless you know what they are. Good luck.
Player 2 takes it! Way to go, Player 2. You won by so much, I'm jealous. Then again, 